Today I want to show you how to do a fly through text using Wondershare Filmora 10. Okay, so let's get into our Wondershare Filmora here. So you'll see I got my footage in already. So what you want to start with is go to your sample colors. When you're in the media, you can go down here and go down to sample colors. Choose black and you'll see why later. Stretch this out so you can see what you're working with. Then go up to titles. And then I just use default title because it's just it's just easier to use really. So you go to this. You want to type in whatever it is you want to say. So you double click on it. You go to here and I'm going to do Filmora at 10 because that's what we're using. So you want to make this as big as possible and you want to go with something that is fairly thick font. If you know what I am saying with the thick font. So this will be probably good enough and I'll show you what I mean. So uh, you get here. Now you want to take a snapshot of this and you just go to your little camera there and boop, it just makes a snapshot as such. You want to delete these. I'll show you a little trick. If you just uh, left click anywhere here, you come up with that like little blue screen and it highlights everything that goes in there. And then you can just go and delete that. You bring this down, put it in your uh, second timeline. You can put it in your first to start, but uh, you'll want it in your second afterwards. So you go into here and then you can go to your crop and zoom, which is here, or you can right click on that and go to crop and zoom or you use your keyboard shortcuts what you should be getting used to and hit alt c and it will come up with this you're in here now and what you want to do is use your pan and zoom so you click on that now you'll notice with your pan and zoom you got this color here where it says start is in blue and then the end is in orange you want to click on this so the end is in blue. That means that it's activated. That's the one that you are working with. Now you want to shrink this down as small as possible and then move it into here. The best way to do this is to make your font as large as possible. And this is why, because you want it to be all white when it plays in like this, you want it to go through all the white here which it doesn't but it's okay this still works with it with it being like this so so don't worry if it doesn't cover all the whiteness there if it's not all covered in white you'll i'll show you a quick little way to work around that so that's good enough if you're using a bigger font it'll cover everything i just use this because uh because it, it still works so we're done with that. So now I have my footage that I want to use. I've already marked it off and everything. So I'll pull that in here. I don't need that much of it. So I'll cut it back to that. So then what you do as well is you double click on this and you go to your compositing one and you go over to here and you go to multiply. So bam, you see how it turns this into see-through that's why you need it to be as a thick as possible so now it's going to play and look at this look at that bit of beautifulness right there bam you can barely tell that it doesn't fly all the way through now the footage i'm using is it it's me flying backwards so i'm just going to go to reverse because it'll make it look that much better now I've noticed one thing that's going on here. So we'll just rip through this again. You see how it drops down up here for whatever reason. So what I want to do is go back to the last frame. I don't like how that shows up there. So what I'll do is pull this down here and that up there. And that 
should take care of that issue. And then we'll just play it through here. Bam, just like that, you have yourself a fly through text. Isn't that absolutely amazing? I think it is. It's super easy to do. I, I don't know. It's just like Filmora has so many cool little things that you can do with it. Quentin Tarantino used this. I'm pretty sure it was the same idea as this. And I'm going to find which one it is here. Oh, yeah, that's huge. That is massive right there. Okay, so let's go boop, make it a bit smaller. Now we can stretch it out to the size that we want. Just like that. Um, I'm, I can't remember. I think it was... I don't, I don't remember the movie anyways, but you can pick a cool text like that, and then you just do the same thing, right? And then you, you go bam, just like that. You pull that back down. And then you go over to that, you click on this, you're up through pan and zoom, bibbity boppity boo. For some reason, my mouse is broken. This is nothing to do with the Wondershare Filmora software. I have a terrible mouse. So this is gonna be the most whiteness that is gonna be showing. So we'll see how this does. Play. Bam, just like that. Okay, so I'll move that up. Always put that on the second. You have to have it there. Go back to it. Uh, double click. Remember, compositing down to multiply makes it see through. Bob's your uncle. Bam, now you're Quentin Tarantino. You've just written the greatest movie ever. Congratulations. You are amazing. I hope that helps. I hope that's uh, everything that you were looking for in this life, in this lesson anyways. If you want more tutorials, then I suggest you click like and subscribe. Check in the link below. I have a free trial of Wondershare Filmora. I think you should use it. It's an amazing software. Very intuitive, very easy to use and do fun stuff like that. Check it out. Link below. And, uh, well, I'll see you later.